Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Good morning. I'm out of my farm permission this morning. It's a nice Sunday morning. Um, no wind, a bit misty, but that's gonna clear up later. Not cold at all. Perfect for shooting, really. Just need some uh, Corvids now to turn up. Um, I'm out with my uh, HW80, the Venom tune gun. Proved so popular um, in its last appearance on the video. Everybody seemed to be happy to see it, wanted to see more. So uh, here we are. Hopefully it'll do the business today. I'm just getting in the hide this morning in the hedge and then once the farmer's done his rounds um, there's quite a few empty cattle sheds I've noticed on my way in so I'm going to poke myself in the back of one of them and uh, hopefully lurk in the darkness shooting into the yard um, so they can't see me and hopefully bag a few okay I'm using the uh, ATN shot track today I'm mounted on top of the Simmons Whitetail Classic scope. Shooting JSB RS, which is uh, in 2.2, which is its favourite um, pellet. Nice lightweight 2.2 pellet, that is. Good for springers. Okay. Let's see how we go. I had a feeling it was going to be one of them days. Because this oh. one just moves as I pull the trigger. <laughs> so I thought, here we go. But luckily one of his mates decides to linger and uh, get it reloaded and get back on aim. A little bit of hold over for the distance. Take the safety off. And down he goes. First one in the bag. Didn't have to wait long for the second. Sat up right in front of me. Just how I like it. Straight down to earth. Another rook. Sat at about 40 yards. Down he goes. This time they do notice. He has a bit of a flap before he dies on the floor. I think that seems to draw their attention. So, so starts the chorus of trouble. Distracting them, giving a chance to take a shot. Nice clean kill. Down he goes. No, it's not bad. Four in the bag. Now just look to my left and see this wood pigeon on top of the uh, feed shed. A bit of a hold over for him. Bit annoying though because he ends up staying on the roof. I was looking forward to a bit of wood pigeon. Never mind. The buzzard can have him. Starting to brighten up now a bit. Next one in front of me. It's getting a bit few and far between now, so it's time to uh, let's take this last one. Go and pick them up. And uh, have a wander around. So, a quick shifty around the sheds. Come out into the sunlight. Look up on the roof, and there's a few ferals. So, it's eeny meeny miny mo. The one on the right loses. But he stayed up on the roof as well, so I couldn't retrieve him. And then I just look back to my left. And there's this uh, fella nonchalantly wandering up the, sh the uh, 
up the roof. I'll take him with a shot, leaning on the wall. Then go around and pick him up where he dropped. I just notice in the barn the noise of a pigeon flapping. So go in to investigate. And there's a juvenile up on the steel work. But uh, I can't take that shot there because of the damage or the potential damage to the roof. So I get myself back outside, looking in through the doorway. It gives me a better angle and puts the steel behind him. You can see him just there. See the nest on the right. He's not long come out of. So nice steel backstop. Instant kill. And down he goes. Back outside again. Turn to a nice date. Thought I'd miss that jack door. That wasn't me by the way. That was a cow. I promise. I'm just sat now wondering whether I've missed my chance with him. But no, there he is. Comes back up. Doesn't see me. I'll stay on aim and pop him. Time for another wander round. Feral pigeon on the roof. Quite uh, quite easier than the crows, because obviously with ferals they do tend to uh, stay where they are when you're walking around a lot of the time. They're more used to people than crows are. Another feral on the roof. About 45 yards. Man, he goes. Okay, so I was thinking about wrapping it up. I was on my way back to the car. And there's a... Uh, there's a tree. Just outside the gate. And what do I see? Well, our old mate Tuft is. It'd be a shame to let him go, wouldn't it? So I make my way up to the gate. Stealthily up to the gate, keeping low, and then just pop myself up when I get there. Luckily, the squirrel freezes. There he is. My shot hits a little twig and reef um, ricochets away. So, quick reload, and luckily. He decides to stay again, and this time the twig's not in the way. Safety off. You can just see him staring at me, pretending he's not there. Bang, down he goes. Nice little bonus at the end of the day. One less nest robber. Hopefully you enjoyed that little outing with the 80 as requested by a lot of people. So if you did enjoy it, like, subscribe and share. And until next time, bye for now. Take care.